Dear audience, welcome to Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally, and internationally. It's today's news, I am Mirwan Gitacho. Stay with us. China to build spy base in Cuba. U.S. and Cuba cast out on report. China has reached a secret deal with Cuba to establish an electronic eavesdropping facility on the island roughly 100 miles from Florida, the Wall Street Journal said on Tuesday. But the U.S. and Cuba governments cast strong doubt on the report. Such a spy installation would allow Beijing to gather electronic communications from the southeastern U.S., which houses many U.S. military bases, as well as monetary ship traffic, the newspaper reported, citing U.S. officials familiar with the classified intelligence. The U.S. Central Command headquarters is based in Tampa, Fort Library, formerly Fort Bragg, the largest U.S. military base, is in Northern California. The countries have reached an agreement, in principle, the official said with China to pay Cuba several billion dollars to allow the EVAS dropping station, according to the journal. We have seen the report. It is not a great, John Kirby, spokesperson for the White House National Security Council, but he did not specify what he thought was incorrect. He said the United States has had real concerns about China's relationship with Cuba and was closely monitoring it. Brigadier General Patrick Reid, U.S. Defense Department spokesperson, said, We are not aware of China in Cuba developing a new type of spy station in Havana. Cuba Vice Foreign Minister Carlos Fernandez de Casio dismissed the report as totally mendacious and unfounded, calling it a U.S. fabrication meant to justify Washington's decades old economic embargo against the island. He said Cuba rejects all foreign military presence in Latin America and Caribbean. A spokesperson for the Chinese embassy in Washington said, We are not aware of, and as a result, we cannot give a comment right now. The argument between the two U.S. rivals, both ruled by communist governments, has caused alarm in President Joe Biden's administration, the newspaper said. Poising a new trade close to America's shores. The journal said the U.S. officials declined to provide more details about the proposed location of the listening station or whether construction had begun. The report deal comes as Washington and Beijing are taking tentative steps to solve tensions that spiked after a suspected Chinese high-altitude spy balloon crossed the United States before the U.S. military shot it down off the East Coast in February. It could also raise questions about the trip to China that the U.S. officials say Secretary of State Antony Blinken is planning in coming weeks. Washington's top diplomat had earlier scrapped the visit over the spy balloon incident. Ties have deteriorated over the spies ranging from military activity in the South China Sea and near Taiwan. Beijing's human rights record and technology competition. We have had real concerns about the China's relationship with Cuba. And we have been concerned since the day of the administration about China's activity in our hemisphere and around the world, the White House survey said. Relations between Washington and Havana remain strained. The Biden administration last year partially lowered back some Trump-era restriction on remittance and travel to the island, but Cuba officials called the steps insufficient. The intelligence on the agreement was gathered in recent weeks, as was convincing the journal reported. The official said it would allow China to conduct signal intelligence, including emails, phone calls, and satellite transmission. Cuba an old Cold War foe of the United States has long been hotbed of sponge and spy games. The Cuba Missile Crisis in 1962 began after Moscow began placing Soviet nuclear weapons on the island. It backed down and removed the missile. But it is widely regarded as the moment when the United States and the Soviet Union came closest to a nuclear confrontation. The Soviets installed a spy base on Iceland at Lourdes, just south of Havana, in the mid-1960s, with parabolic antennas and that Cuba's northern neighbor, Russia President Vladimir Putin closed the facility in early 2000s. And this was our news for the day. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you.